I was very impressed with Umar Akmal over the years and mm. I thought Umar Akmal could be this great Pakistan batsman. I thought Ahmad Shahzad had potential. Those two are people that, that, that come to mind. Pakistan must miss the fact that those two haven't become the players they could have become. Yeah, I think it's the environment and um, unfortunately they've been advised quite wrongly. Um, you know, I, I strongly believe that this, some of these kids need to have a, a proper tutoring. Um, you know, maybe a guidance chart, maybe somebody to help them individually, you know, have a go-to guy. Uh, if they're not getting that environment, getting that, um, getting mm -hmm. the creativity uh, looked after when they're playing for Pakistan. It's an unfortunate situation because I've always backed Umar Akmal uh, as a talent. But I think he's been, in, you know, a, a fourth of his talents in a way that he's undermined his mm -hmm. talent and potential by becoming controversial. Well, let's talk about the positives. Every time you think, Where's Pakistan cricket going? Somebody comes up. Mm. And you see someone like Baba Razam, he's mm. averaging the 50s, he's got 500s. Is he a key player for Pakistan? He's got to be the key player. In one-day cricket, I think he's got his game sorted. Mm. It's in test cricket where he's, uh, he's been found wanting. Mm. Maybe it's the pressure of five-day cricket. Maybe he has to remodel himself as a test player. But when it comes to 20-overs cricket and 50-overs cricket, it comes naturally to him. Uh, he's, he's a good thinking hitter. And all he has to do is now to look to hit the ball as straight as possible because I think of late some of these big strikers are trying to hit the ball across the line mm. uh, and, and that's a faulty technique because you look at A.B. De Villiers for example, you look, look at Virat Kohli for example, they will challenge the man at long off and have the ability to hit the ball hard and straight and I think that's a, that's a great template for somebody uh, mm. uh, as, as young and as talented as Barbara Azam. In India, you look at Pakistan and you think, wow, they seem to produce fast bowlers one after the other. Mm. At the moment, it seems that all Pakistani fast bowlers should be left-handed. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Mahab it's a, Yaz, Junaid Khan, uh, Muhammad Ame. Yeah, I mean, um, you know, there's a lot to like about them. Mm. Uh, but the pace is clearly down, except for Wahab Riyaz. But other than that, it's about variations. I don't know why I'm not a big fan of variations. If you can hurt the opposition because with Because you're an opening pace. batsman. Yeah, if you I can know, get but, 150, why yeah, would you? Yeah, I know. Yeah? No, but Harsha, also I've been brought up in that era where 150 was run-of-the-mill stuff. I mean, yeah. these guys will not even feature in the in the 20 squad. Uh, all those guys who could bowl at 135, 137, even 140 is, was 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 struggling to make, make it. it. Ah, absolutely. Ah. Then there is obviously Mohammad Amir, uh, whose fitness uh, has been an issue of late. You know, is he that, was, is, have the years outside cricket affected the fitness? Because I saw him bowl. I saw him bowl in Dhaka, and he bowled one of the, one of the finest spells you yeah. will see. Yeah. I mean, he knows how to bowl. A bit like Mustafizur. Yeah. Um, he's young, um, like Mustafizur, but he had to adjust a lot because I think when he was banned, he was uh, his height was a little shorter mm. than what he's now become. He's, he's definitely um, a, a couple of inches taller now. Mm. Uh, and with it, obviously, he has to remodel his bowling action, then make a comeback and go through a lot of ordeal. Uh, that couldn't have been easy. Uh, but every now and then you see that, mm. that spark of brilliance uh, in him and, and so he'll be the he, key. Has he become the bowler you thought he would become? No, no. I think uh, I was expecting a lot more from him. Mm. But it's just that, you know, uh, there have been uh, talk about him being wrested from Test cricket, which is going to be disastrous for Pakistan and for himself. Because if you're going to eye just the T20 format in 50 overs cricket, obviously you're not uh, thinking of putting in hard yards. And, it, and, and, and so, at, at this stage where he's making a comeback, he needs to be uh, more in, in control of his ability and, and, and should ex expect to be playing more five-day cricket mm. uh, because that'll give him uh, rhythm, that'll give him match fitness, that'll improve his bowling overall. But to really think of not playing test cricket at this stage is going to be disastrous for him. Mm.